dolls. Fucked my way up to the top. This is my show. Hey, um, do- hey dolls. Hey dolls. It's been a week since Camilla's been <laughs> queen consort of the United Kingdom. Since sausage fingers since and sausage fingers and his whore has been <laughs> crowned. <laughs> his whore. Um. Yeah, coronation couldn't care less. Yeah. Did not engage with the content. The only that. thing that I saw was like a thing today I shared on my Instagram. Not love for it. me. I love your anti royal dismantle. I agree. I, I think it's, I'm like not. I'm not giving them the clicks. Their goose is cooked. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done too. Um, what else is going on? Oh, the VPR trailer for the reunion drop. We need to watch. I haven't watched it, so let's. You need, pull a, that you need out. a live watch. Live reaction. Yeah. It's pretty... It was good. I'm kind of like... I'm not... Like, I'm so ready for it to come, but I'm also like... I still want to live in the build to it. And I'm like... Well, you got two weeks. I know. So, <laughs> you can live... You can build know, for 14 but days. But it's like... It's so... Okay, well, you'll just see for yourself. the fuck is this oh go to to, go down to bravo yeah they lie i hate entertainment tonight they lie look i know some people that work there they're very lovely and like it's okay you love and light to them but like if you're gonna put it on your site put it on your fucking site yeah don't link to another thing no don't link to your own content talking about the thing that people want to watch and tricking them engaging in trickery let's embed Is it on Bravo? It's on Bravo TV, Twitter. Get up here. Our, our, our boys are here with us. Okay, Tone. <laughs> Tone just went full ass in face. This is Game of Thrones. It is. Don't take Sheena down. Liar. Tom is such a pussy. Mango. Do a worm. No, he does, though. Yes. Oh my God! The I answer have is yes. Heart palpitations. Oh, you don't get to look at this. I love. I'm ready for Ariana to go in her drag queen era. I like that she's just wearing literally just her abs or just like just a strip. It's an ab. She's a giant ab with. It's revenge body, and I'm here for it. I loved them calling out Schwartz. 
and being like, oh, your timelines aren't matching up. Like you huddled before this and like didn't get your time straight. I need Schwartz to be broken down and reduced to a puddle of tears. Because I don't think he understands. Like no one has ever broken him and I need someone to break him. He's, I think he's going to get slightly bitch slapped during this, but I think he's going to be, it's going to look pales in comparison to what happens so he's always shielded and he like is. i don't like this about myself but i need it it will be a healing moment i no, think for okay. the world i think I if think... he is blubbering begging for forgiveness and distraught and on- then and only then humble can he be brought back up from the ashes he will n- he's never been held to any kind of accountability really true he remind it just really reminds me of boarding school of like these and these kinds of guys would get taken to task often yeah. and reduced and i'm ready for <laughs> him to get fully i'm reduced well he's he is one of those he's a guy that clearly was like mr popular his whole life and like had just lived in that like hot bubble his whole life and has never had to like pay the piper for anything no and this season it's like happening a little and you see what happens when Schwartz, the bubble is burst a little, he goes immediately to a place of hatred and cruelty and like venomous. And that's really who he is. And it's scary, but the only person who can really do it is Katie. I know. And, and I think she will. She is. And Terry. Terry. Queen. Schwartz is a fake ass bitch. He is a fake ass bitch. I hate it. Okay. We'll get to it. But that was a, I mean, the trailer was ridiculous. The, the trailer is really... The event that changed the world. <laughs> I love the soundtrack. They got off their asses and said, make the 300 soundtrack, but do it VPR style. And I love Lisa going, this person who's loved you and adored you for so long. Defended you. Defended you. I'm obsessed with serving Sheena legal papers <laughs> and destroying... <laughs> Tears. Also... We have, I forgot for a second that they're filming two separate reunions because <laughs> they legally can't be in the because same room. Because fucking tried to come for pussy Sheena. ass Raquel can't be in the same room. But also Raquel is... I'm fully like... Enemy. I'm like enemy too. Like she's a true daemon, but I realized that I'm so excited for season 10 and I actually don't think that they need to film together anymore. No. I think... It would be extremely entertaining to film the flops all flopping together. <laughs> like, like it's true flop town USA. And Wait, anyone you mean that Tom and Raquel, Tom, Tom and Raquel. You, you think they should be all filming together? I think Tom, Tom and Raquel film everything together. Yeah. Like them and whoever they populate their inner circle the flops. with, because you know it's gonna be just like Hell. beyond flop zone. It, and then you film the winners together. It saw something about her <laughs> and it truly i was like i would watch 10 seasons of the flop zone with those two fucking idiots they're and gonna, raquel i feel like they're gonna end up just being like kind of a like unofficial weird thruple where it's like tom sandoval and raquel and then schwartz is just like they're like child that they have here's the thing though it's like people need to stop coming from them so hard because they're when you shake their confidence they don't feel confident enough to serve us the flop that we need like to sad us yeah you need what do you mean like when you come for like raquel and the toms on like social media and like oh, tear yeah. them apart it like gives them the pylon is shaking their confidence and we need them to think we still need them to believe in themselves so they can serve us flop energy. I'm, I agree with that. But on the same time, I'm, I'm also like, I want to see them like just flopping. No, but they will yeah. flop harder if they feel more confident. They have to feel like their life is the best to give us the cringe that we need yeah. so that they can embarrass themselves. But if they're like terrified to just live their truth, which is that like, they need to see this relationship through. Like if they're spending the all of next season trying to like rehab their image, that's not that fun. Well, I also think that like the barrage of like hate that Raquel and Tom get on social media and I'm sure Schwartz, it will only in a way add to their like victim there or like they're sort of like it's us against the world. Like we're victims. We're being like it bullied. Could be good. It could be actually like, bring them together or just like it'll make them 
it'll give them like a victim complex and like Tom will just be like, I've been through the ringer, you know? And like, I think I'm, I'm never for like piling on and like bullying like that. Like, I think the like death threats and things that I'm sure they're getting, like that's unhinged. Cause again, this is just like personal lives. Like, but I'm also like that on the same parallel level like all that hate is just going to make them more like martyrs Mm -hmm. and like i don't want them to be martyrs no i don't want like sad like i don't want sad repentance no i want like no atonement i want leaning into like villain flop yeah you have a and honestly now more than ever they need to be operating from a place of raw confidence (laughs) sandoval has sunk his entire family's like life cash into his endeavor into his like rainforest cafe at a Marriott into the ugliest restaurant I've ever seen that cow. Okay. Let's get into it. Yeah. We have so much to talk about. I'm Carrie. I'm Lara. And you're listening to some sexy, sexy unique, unique show podcast. Pump heads, pump heads, flop heads. Mid, mid season finale. Mid season finale. Yeah. The mid season. That's what this was. I think next week is the finale. Oh, I thought this was the mid season finale before Scandal. No, next, this was the penultimate episode. Uh, and then next, did you like, think that this was going to be? Well, no, no, like no, 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 no. I thought this was going to be like the pre scandal. Oh, well, no, next week is the fi- finale and oh, then okay. the reunion. It felt like the finale. What, t- what time, I, what dimension are you living I, in? I, Because I want to be there. The vibes I got were like at the end, Lisa being like, it was so beautiful. And everyone was like, I thought this was like the end of this era and we were about to start like the Scandal era. Yeah. I mean, not no. It felt like that, right? Didn't it but- feel a little final? It did. I think this was supposed to be the original finale, and then they picked oh, up okay. cameras okay. to film one final episode okay. b- and get it in as the finale before the reunion. But also- I wish that we were living in Carrie Dimension 5.0, where there were like Come join. seven it's more good. episodes and then a reunion. Like, I wish this was the mid season. We got 15 more episodes of Scandal playing out in real time. Love. I love where you live. Well,. Wait, so it begins with Ken and Lisa introducing a new pony. <laughs> that will be in the ground soon. <laughs> I'm also obsessed with your pony dying. And then merely a week later, a whole new pony comes. I want to know where they're importing these mini ponies. I like, I, I do, I would like to like be on a farm and just like graze among mini ponies. Oh yeah, It'd I be would really love sweet. to have some mini ponies. She goes, Diamond, I know you miss Rosé, but you've got a new friend here. It's not Rosé, but it's a friend. Who is the, what is the name again? I Di- can't remember. Bones. <laughs> Old Bones. Diamond and Bones. Diamond's like, I've seen things, friend. I know. She's things like, you can't imagine. Your you're next, worst nightmares. <laughs> you're next, Diamonds. Don't get too comfortable. I also can't get over you thinking that Rosé died in their marital bed. <laughs> the <laughs> the hubs. Hubs. <laughs> the hooves kicking dirt on the listen. Then being like, if you really the think, horse is sick, it's fallen ill. If Place you really it think about the- it, can you you can sort of imagine Lisa being like, "Come up here, pretty kitty," to like a tiny pony. I can't imagine her saying, "Ken, what I would love you to do with this." very sick miniature pony is place it in our bed <laughs> while we figure out next steps. <laughs> I don't Come I think up. that if that's your first instinct is to take a very sick animal into your wedded bed, then something's up. You have bi- yeah, you have a lot bigger fish to fry. Um something about her is underway. It's no other group of people love to do previews of things that aren't <laughs> happening yet. I love On that. Bravo, it's all about a preview. Remember Heather's like book party that was just a cover reveal? Heather who? Heather from Housewives of Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah. Like they all Bravo loves like to just be like, I will be doing this at some point. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little I'm it's giving like a little I just want attention right now. Well, yeah, I mean <laughs> shocking that they would do that on a reality show of all but things for some reason it made more sense with saw than schwartz and sandy's well saw is like i want one of those sandwiches. me too i was craving it's a really sandwich good. i literally was like i can't wait to postmate some saw <laughs> the greek salad sandwich 
Yeah, I take it back. I take back everything I said and I'm ready and I'm going in with an open heart. Although I will say, Chef Penny, wasn't she the brains behind the menu? Wasn't, hasn't she been the brains behind many of Lisa's <laughs> food endeavors? Chef, Chef Penny looks like a witch that lives in Spain. She's Streganona. Right? Yeah. She looks, she has like this, this like Spain, like black headband on. She's mm-hmm. in Fanta. She's Maria Abramovich. <laughs> I'm also, wait, Streganona in huge news, getting her own stamps. Really? Yeah. She's going to be memorialized on stamps. Where? In the United States of America. Incredible. Yeah. I thought of you. I'm dead. I'm still not over the pasta in the woods. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm still- Did they gotten to the bottom of the mystery? Yeah. Someone just threw out their pasta. How? Like a restaurant? I think something like that, but it was like- I was like, damn, that's a lot of pasta. That's a lot of pasta. It, it almost like felt like it was coming out of the ground. For people that don't know, it, New Jersey, by the by a river in New Jersey, someone discovered Mounds. literally like a hundred pounds of pasta. It was had been dumped. It was, it, it was like cloudy <laughs> and it looked like it was like oozing out of the ground. And I was like, this is just what happens in North Jersey. It was really sick. And I'm surprised that like animals weren't around. No, it was like some. They, they don't knew, want that pasta. They knew something was up. Well, animals don't really fuck with pasta. No. Um, I just like, I just saw it in my head. I just don't trust Chef Penny to like pull it off. But maybe if you boil down things to simpler ingredients like bread and sliced deli meats she can really serve cunt but is it gonna be like at like pratt like one of like the last sandwich that has like cranberry in it i feel like it's gonna it could really go to a place of gas station sandwiches i think it's it's a really good idea but i wonder if like penny's the right one I think they should trust their instincts and just do it themselves look penny seems like a perfectly lovely human being but I'm going to need like Ina Garten to get in the mix or someone of that ilk. Also, I'm like, where's the bread coming from? Can you make your own bread at Saw? Maybe. They need to. Design your own bread. Well, no, they, I'm saying they need to like make their own bread. Well, I don't. Yeah. They need to have like a, a, a baker. Yeah. Chef Penny walks in. Uh, Ariana and Lala and fucking Katie are like kind of setting up getting into the vibe for their upcoming preview and chef penny walks in she goes oh the lofty ceilings i enter and i'm immediately flooded with ideas the energy i'm hit with i was like you are a kate Berlant character <laughs> she is i the lofty ceilings i'm immediately struck with ideas i was like who the fuck <laughs> is she also Later, when Lisa comes in, barreling in from the night into the saw. We'll get there. I was, I, she was on drugs. She was on, fully on pills. <laughs> um, but yeah, she comes in and she goes, I want to have my team here at five to start setting up. I'm scared for her and her team. Knowing what, they, what evil they've foisted upon us in the form of the food at Sir and perhaps Pump, it ain't right. They have like a whole kitchen to clean. I was like, this is a lot of fucking work. Yeah, it seems like a lot of work to open a restaurant. But it is a primo location. Is it? Mm Mm-hmm. How do you park there? The library. Because that's, it's where my AA meeting is. Oh, okay. And then there's like another parking spot behind the log cabin. Okay, I could see myself. Going, taking Tony to the dog park, mm-hmm. then stopping by to get <laughs> a soprasata sandwich or a spicy turkey sounded good. And then heading to Chicconi's and having a uh, virgin Aperol spritz. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, Rock and Charlie go to one of my least favorite stores in all of Los Angeles. Polka dots and moonbeams. I've seen this place. This is not the first time they've filmed here. Where is it again? It's on Third Street. Yeah, I fucking hate that place. It's right near my um esthetician. It's satanic. It's it's near Face Hulse and it's near um Le Labo. <laughs> Le Labo is shook. Le Labo and Magnolia are shook. Le Labo and Magnolia's stock plummeting while polka dots and moonbeams invites like it's always where 
someone like not popular on VPR <laughs> goes to film. Of course, Raquel would love that place. She was I love this place. It's my favorite. <laughs> and they always have cute stuff. <laughs> we Raquel has that also become Whitney. Whitney. She goes, oh, apparently Whitney and Lisa Barlow are, have, I think they had like a physical shakeup apparently. But I'm like, I'll see it when I believe it. I don't buy anything that. I'll see it when I believe I'll, it. I don't believe anything that real sick is peddling. Did you see the photos of Jen Shaw serving cunt in prison? She on, looks great. On a walk with her like. She's a boss ass bitch. She looked like she was running that shit. She had like a, a right hand woman. This is cool. I know. I just wanted to get out a little early, but she's also. I think needs, she could really thrive there. And she maybe. Needs to pay the piper. Maybe she'll just decide like, I'm going to stay here for longer. That maybe, could be great for her. It might be the best place for her to be. I honestly, like I thought she looked really like self-possessed and strong and confident and in her element in a way that I was like, you should just hang here. She had like her arms behind her back and was just kind of walking like. She's the fucking Tony Soprano of that prison. And also that's the prison Elizabeth Holmes is going to. Well, May they link and may they build. I think Jen Shaw is not going to fuck with her. What if Jen Shaw is the first person to have Lizzie Holmes taken out? <laughs> I'm, I'm still laughing at our, our like fantasy of her shaving her head and like taking steroids <laughs> to get into jail. It always comes back to just go straight Mackenzie Davis Terminator. <sighs> um, um, yeah, so she's like, I am my Raquel goes, my God, I love retail therapy. <laughs> she's not happy with Katie's mom. No, and she's not happy with James. She goes, I don't appreciate him saying how he regrets Rachella. And I was like, bitch, get over it. Get over it. You're fucking someone right you now. You literally like sucked Sandoval's dick last night. She goes, I am also as someone that's like, I'm like, never be anything but like perfectly polite to a friend's parent. You know, like I was truly like, you're trash. Yeah, that's not okay. Um, Charlie and Rock don't think that Allie likes James as much as he likes her, which I was like, okay, yeah. fair assessment. Raquel goes, I've said it before. Allie is a replacement me. She goes, I really think I've turned a new leaf with James. And, and then the true scariest moment of all was Raquel looks in the jewelry as she's like the jewelry case as she's checking out and she goes, Ooh, can I see that little lightning bolt? And they had the, they had the subtitles. I was like, they went back and added this. Yeah. But it was, I, I saw the subtitles and I was like, what's she going to look at? And then I saw it and I went, oh, I literally, I went, gasped. Oh, that scourge. She <laughs> has bowls. She's got some bowls. That's psychotic. Sorry. Also, she spent $780 on a necklace from polka dots and moonbeams. And Raquel goes, or Charlie goes, try it, Rock. It's your birthday. I'm like, how long is this bitch having a birthday? Because it's been like a three week long fest. I know. I'm and poor Charlie just trying to be like, spend it. Yeah, Splurge. you'll Live never regret it. Solid gold. I was like, you will regret this more than you could possibly imagine. Also, like you don't. I don't care how much money you're making this season. You do not have $780 to spend on a lightning bolt necklace at polka dots and moonbeams. Yeah. That necklace that you can literally get at like. That is not what you should be spending that 780 on. That's like, that looks like something you get on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. You could get it at like, (laughs) you could truly get it on Alibaba or Amazon. (laughs) You could get them for $780. You could get like 2000 of those on Alibaba and sell them and then make like 40 K off of that. If you were smart, you should not. I'm telling you like polka dots and moonbeams just say no. I mean, if, if what we're led to believe is true that these are some like signifier of their like clandestine love for each other i was like damn tom didn't even pay for it cheap ass i know and also like it's so should have had, at least have him pay for it if you're gonna like maybe he ben mowed her after oh maybe she went there that was the full agenda and she it was all a ruse to go try on things for retail therapy but her full agenda was to get the lightning bolt that tom and i picked out 
at polka dots and moonbeams. <laughs> I'm haunted by polka dots and moonbeams. Let's go there. No, I'm I've walked get, through there get once. A, I'm gonna get like a, I'm gonna get a corset, corset. <laughs> <laughs> and like a feather boa. I always just was like. I'm going to look like someone from the cell. I used to go to Jones on 3rd all the time, like after bar method and have like an iced coffee and a French omelet. And I would just always be staring at polka dots and moonbeams, like hissing at it. That whole street is sort of polka dots and moonbeams. It really can (laughs) veer left so quickly. There's a lot of good little shops on that street, but then every once in a while, it's polka dots and moonbeams. I saw a full woman in like a sun hat on that street like on that block nude as like fully nude and barefoot just in broad daylight just walking down third near like jones on third and i was like okay holy shit just walking i saw a car on fire in front of jones on third once (laughs) it was cool (laughs) two brainless (laughs) morons sit in the ugliest restaurant ever created (laughs) And they sit on the the couch of my nightmares, like a purple <laughs> Eric Edelstein, <laughs> who is a very funny writer and loves the pod. He said he I posted about it and he goes, someone got gangbanged on that couch. It has gangbang energy. It has cum energy. It's total. And they it sit has down. crusty cum vibes. I'm like, what are you even doing here? Yeah, like, why, why you should you, call it a day. Like, is, why did you, it's not open yet. And they're like, man, look at this fucking beautiful fucking place that we built. It's a rainforest cafe. Yeah. They, and they wish it was a rainforest cafe. I know. Rainforest is actually cooler. It has more integrity. Tom Sandoval goes, yeah, I'm jealous of Ariana and Katie's little spot. I was like, you're a fucker for that. Their little spot. Yeah. They're they're like, oh, it's so easy. Like they have it so easy. Like that narrative. I'm like, you guys are brain dead. Get your shit together. They hate women. They go. Yeah. It's just like crazy. You'd be like, can't open up. Like it's like no one knows. You just like can't open because you have to like hire people to work here. And Tom Schwartz is like, yeah, like we don't have any line cooks. And I was like. That's Did you ever have them? Because the food tastes like you still haven't hired yeah. them. Yeah. Also, like, <laughs> Tom Schwartz is fully part of this like cover up. Oh yeah. He's like one hundo. He's totally his wingman and complicit in this. And he's like, so you, you mean you and Ariana aren't doing well right now? It's like they they're such bad actors. No wonder they didn't make. They it. are truly <laughs> flotsam and jetsam. <laughs> Tom's, Worse. Tom's like, man, it's hard. It seems like instead of line cooks, instead of anyone, they hired someone to run a microwave. They hired one person to go to Costco and mm. one person to thaw it and the next person to microwave it and then waiters to bring it out to people to eat. It's basically like flight attendants when they stick stuff in the microwave to give it to you. Like they're doing way more work than these the food you would eat on an airplane is, is better lot. than the food you would eat at Tom Tom. Absolutely. Or no, sorry. Oh my god, I take it back. Not Tom no, Tom. Tom Tom's <laughs> Michelin level. <laughs> Tom Tom a. is a three star. We love Tom Tom. We love Tom Tom. He was saying about goes, Yeah, with Ariana, it's like, when's the last time you went to the store and bought paper towels and toilet paper? There's pens in the drawer and there's batteries in the drawer because of me. Fuck you. I was like, you can get that shit on Amazon. Also, this is what being in a relationship is. One person does more of something and another person does more of another thing. That's just how it is. Fucking cry about it. Also, like, classic man to be like... I put pens Make it man. seem like the hardest job ever to go to a fucking Target and yeah. buy toilet paper. Man, I went down to I went down to uh, Joanne Fabric and bought a bunch of yarn and <laughs> thread. And she doesn't even thank me for it, man. Fuck you. You're annoying. You're annoying. You're literally fucking her close friend right now. I know. You're it's a, insane. You are literally, you were, 
like waist deep in Raquel's pussy last night and you're talking about like pens. This ruse. And he's like, she just argues with me. Like she doesn't like anything I say. She never agrees with me. And I was like, yeah, because you're wrong all the time. Your <laughs> reads are wrong. You're annoying as fuck. Mm-hmm. And you're a little whiny bitch that like can't even open his restaurant. You made your parents like spend their fucking pension pouring it into your flop restaurant. Like, I would argue with you too. Yeah. You're hot as fuck, but you are awful. I do love the flashback of Ariana just going, get out, go away, get out of here and pushing. Him. He needs to be told that sometimes he is annoying. He's annoying. That being said, I, fuck I, fantasize, no! I fantasized last night about Tom saying it's good. Masturbation material. Truly. There's something. There's, there's something saw. about her. He's true saw vibes. There's something about her. It's like that slap. It's like he's so like used, car- like a sexy used car salesman who's just like, he's like, you know, sometimes you just need to fantasize about someone that's like sleazy, hot, and just so fucking sleazy. Yeah. You need like a sleazy he's, fantasy. He's honestly, this season, he's looked waxen and like not as cute to me kind of like how skinny he is just like he looks wet all the time like his skin looks like overly like exfoliated to a degree that's like what's wrong with you and i he looks bizarre to me and he looks i I like it from a mess i like from what's happening from the neck up and if he was if he were nude i would also like it but anytime he wears clothes i'm immediately turned off and if he was to open his mouth it would be game over yeah but like just true sleazy yeah i i I mean i i've seen him i when i saw him in person that time i was like he's truly beautiful and like unbelievably sexy but this season i was more shamefully more attracted to schwartz than we all have our shame. But he looks... And then I saw that video of Schwar- of Sandoval performing with his shirt off. And for some reason, like... I mean, his body's objectively great. No, him performing is a boner killer. He him look, talking, boner killer. Him like wearing any cutlets. clothes, boner killer. Did but you see him singing with a Scottish accent? I don't engage. But much like the coronation, I shan't be engaging with his cover band. Um... He makes Ariana some coffee. Simon's, he's catching up to watch, be able to watch Skin of All as it happens. Mm-hmm. And he sent me something last <laughs> night because he's been out of the VPR game for a season. And he goes, Tom Sandoval's band is humiliating and depressing. <laughs> and I was like, it is so like, it's God bless those people that are on that, in that band with him. Look, they're just trying to make some coin. I get it. My God. He is. I feel like a fake ass bitch because that was my first instinct all along was like, this is so embarrassing, but I wanted to be a supportive queen, women supporting women. And I didn't want to air Ariana out like that. So I kept being like, it's cool. He's like so talented just because she seemed to have like a lot of support for him and his band endeavor. So I just wanted to support, but really the entire time I was like, I'd fucking kill myself if my boyfriend did this. I'm sure Ariana deep in the had the like ick from the band. Well, I mean, she's like, it's very telling that they apparently have sex four times a year because if you had to be with a man like that, you also would be like, I cannot fuck you. Yeah, maybe let's examine what his part is and why he's repelling her so much is because okay, in the next scene, he's making her coffee. And as he's stirring it, he sticks his hand out with his little painted white nails. I was like, you look like so gay right now. There's so much wrong. He like sits down. He's like, a so on. like your sandwich shop, like, like that's exciting. Like, is there anything I can help you out with? And I wanted her to be like, yeah, you can take off your fucking platform sneakers and yoga pants, and change beanie. into a different outfit and be a man. Is Why it, as a man are you wearing that? Why are you wearing a beanie? Is it autumn? Not even a gay would wear that. No, outfit. no, absolutely not. It's pure hetero hell and he's wearing a beanie <laughs> he's dre- he's cross dressing he's, he's dripping in something i'm like what a straight man going full non-binary is not the look he could be mb i don't think he is tom he's yeah he sits and he goes oh baby is there any i'm like you you are so full of shit yeah you don't care is there anything i can help you with your head is spinning right now because you're 
having an affair. Take those fucking shoes off. Take those fucking Before I beat you to a pulp. I'm going to shove your head through this glass door (laughs) if you don't take off those yoga pants and those fucking yellow platform converse. I swear to God, I will burn this house to the fucking ground. He looks like Mad Max Thunderdome, like someone that lives in (laughs) Barter Town. He's literally post-apocalypse, like quirky post-apocalypse. I am harrowed. I'm a haunted. Their no house wonder looks, you their could, house does look really nice. So. I know you could not. I, know. I would never be able to fuck what if a you, guy, if a man, if my boyfriend that I was re- that was really hot started dressing in a bootleg yoga pant, boot cut yoga pants, and, <laughs> and platform and platform condom. Ah! I've literally dated guys that had horrible style and have had to be like you are not allowed to wear this outfit because i i can can't even look at you if you wear that shirt but let's give credit ariana still loved him unconditionally even if that's love rocked that look like that's that's a partner that fucking rides with you this is sex in this giving sex in the city finale and we're magda and ariana (laughs) miranda and we go that is love you love what you did there that's love oh that, don't talk to me about that <laughs> tom he sits down and he goes he goes yeah it's like it's really hard like i feel like we just don't talk anymore and she goes remember we used to like make dinner and listen to the war on drugs sweet i was like sweet they Great. were like normal at one point and tom goes yeah I fucking wish we could still do that and he starts fake crying he goes she goes i just want to like make dinner again and like go on walks and like put on music and like be together and he was let's do it let's do it dude and i was like i'm gonna but then he goes but i and they're like and his confession like what's your idea of like what's your love language and he goes oh, taking shrooms and watching the sunrise skinny dipping i'm like so everything that you've done with rock rock this is ariana what she's saying is a nor that's normal well, she goes i want i need quality time with you like i like going out and getting shit faced is not like quality time. He goes, that's your definition of quality time. She goes, no, that's literally what quality time is. Yeah. She also says like, she kind of calls him out here. She's like, all your peacocking that you do when we're out with our friends, like that's not who you are. And like, I don't get that. You don't give me any, like any of that, like charm basically. Yeah. And he's you give like, me yoga pants. You give me this look and a beanie and like, you give me you're wearing my shoes <laughs> <laughs> he shoved his feet into like little platforms <laughs> he goes we didn't even take a fucking picture together at sheena's wedding man and i was like yeah because she fucking hates you because you're embarrassing also because you were off having sex with raquel yeah you were trying to do damage control and getting short trying to convince schwartz to like be a decoy so to throw people off of the scent of yeah. you literally fucking Raquel. You were getting fingered in your asshole by Raquel at Hibachi. That's what you were doing. And then Ariana's like, I don't think a photo like measures our love for each other. And he's like, yes, it does for me, man. Are you just going to disagree with everything I say? And it's like, yes, because you're wrong and you're fucking <laughs> stupid. Do you he, not get it? I also love how he adds, maybe hand gliding. What? You think spending quality time hang together gliding? as a couple it means going hang gliding Deranged. together? Then, then you know what, Raquel, she is the one for you. Yeah, because she would jump off a cliff with you. She was, <laughs> but she would jump. You think that strapping yourself into a hang glider and jumping off mountains and hang gliding, one of the most dangerous sports, is a way to spend quality time together? And- and don't tell me that Raquel, if you hang glider fell and you were stranded, that she wouldn't leave your ass to get saved. Sorry. True. I don't think, I think Raquel's out for herself and Ariana would help. <laughs> well, Ariana's too smart to go hang gliding with a fucking brainless moron. I love it. Also, if your idea of quality time means that you need to get fucked up with someone. Like if you're an basically addict. he was like, He's an Getting addict. fucked up and partying together is quality time to me. All his like heavy stimulation craving, like that's I, that's addict behavior, needing to like be out of your body, basically. Also, this like ruse of his is so manipulative, and like it, he is literally gaslighting this person. I know, creating these things, being like, 
you can't be honest. You can't come to this person and say, hey, I've made a huge mistake and I think I need to share this with you because this signifies like where I'm at in our relationship and like own your part in something. Instead, you're trying to like, I'm sure all the problems that he speaks of exist in their relationship, but like he's making it seem like it's all her. Well, he's making it just seem like that's the only thing going on when in reality he's fucking Raquel. So that's like a huge part that would also need to be spoken. I know he could have honestly, it's still like, it's sick. He could have been honest at this point, and like I don't know if they would have stayed together, but like it would have there would have been more dignity if they'd done it like privately and like just been like I need to tell you this is happening. Well, also it's like if you really care about someone, regardless of whether you want the relationship to continue or not, and you really are like trying to communicate with them better or like have yeah like good clear the air between you or focus down on what the real problem is you can't have a secret and then try and pin it all on this other thing because it all his emotions that are coming out and frustrations is like about the affair yeah and it's also like yeah you might be frustrated at these things but the way you're dealing with it is by fucking her best friend which is not the answer it was like men are truly trash They they would rather just like have a conversation about something else entirely than just yeah so we cut to james and Allie, and he's his dream is coming true he's about to leave i think that night he's practicing for imagine fest him and Allie, he's like my girl my, my love of my life coming with me to imagine it, it's a dream come true to be a, my name right next to cascade and you see his name is like <laughs> <laughs> why the editors gotta do him dirty like that he goes every time i see my name on the fly i get butterflies in my stomach and rally goes babe i'm so happy for you i was like supportive she, queen but she also i was like the way she talks to him is like this is a healthy relationship and this is why he regrets rachella mm, tbd on the healthiness of this relationship this i think is, it's healthier i think it's for james standards it's healthy yeah but this is also just giving me very much like you're you're putting this woman in a position of mommy vibes yeah he's she's like his mom he's breastfeeding but he's also like she does i'm happy for him and i like with love and light be together but i'm also like if you have to be sitting your partner down early That's stages true. of the relationship and be talking to them about their issues and being like now what are you gonna do on monday yeah. are you gonna go to therapy like yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like this is mommy That's issues true. and i don't love it i love her going now what is this event about the good question something and she goes and the attire and the fact that they would classify this saw soft launch as an event that requires a specific attire tickled me. I do like she's she gets to the bottom of things. Mm-hmm. Um, I we get to Schwartz's house and Sandoval well, walks in Whoa. first. She so when she Allie is saying here Ness you can just start here instead of that interruption. When Allie's like talking to him about therapy or whatever, and James is excuse for why he doesn't need to go to therapy is him telling his like Hollywood come up story. I was inspired. He was like, <laughs> look at my life. I had $12 in my account at 16. I worked at the coffee bean on Beverly Boulevard. Now here I am. And I was like, that's the dream. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's an American dream doll. Then he said, I don't have any childhood trauma. I was like, that's You're- not true. I've literally heard you talk about childhood trauma. On this very show. Your mom robbed a bank. (laughs) And you're, you got like beat. He said he got his legs broken by two kids, like in grade school. For calling him gay. Like you have more childhood trauma maybe than anyone on this show. But I love that. You'll unpack it. You'll get there. He is, I feel like he is deep down smart. Clever. Mm -hmm. Cunning. I root for him. Yeah. But I definitely was like, oh honey. Go to you got to go. Cognitive behavioral therapy. You do therapy. have it. Yeah. You do. <laughs> I go, honey. You do have it, honey. You have trauma. You have trauma. It's okay. It's okay. But just you gotta go, go and parse it through. Mm-hmm. You just okay. go once a week yeah. and you'll talk about it. You should go maybe twice a week. Maybe. In the beginning. We'll you see. have the money. We'll see. Um, Schwartz's apartment. Schwartz is doing, he's working out, I think, for the first time in years. <laughs> His entire life, probably. He has like, he's doing push-ups. I can't even. I, don't I even was like, no self-respecting woman 
would Joe. ever find themselves mired in this living situation. Old Joe. It does. is old <laughs> crackhead Joe. It is from exterior to deep interior. One of the most unnerving apartments I've ever seen. I know there are, but I feel like there aren't windows. He is close. Those vertical blinds are always closed. Yeah, and I know what it smells like. He has a three wick candle going. He has a cauldron going, and it's like yank. It's some kind of Yankee candle that can't even mask the stench. He is the worst smelling man. You know. You know. He just smells so bad, and his apartment smells like dirty. Socks. Oh, stop. And Sandoval walks in, he goes, hey, man, they're there to get ready for the big night at so so If I walked into a friend's apartment, if my friend even moved into an apartment building like that, I'd be like, are you okay? I mean, I've literally had like basically friend interventions from seeing how I lived when I was in New York. Mm-hmm. A real friend tells you that you're unwell. Is like, what's going on here? My best friend, Matt, cried one time when he saw my room. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. No, laugh at me. But that's truly the that's really the same situation that Schwartz's my jaw was on the floor. But Sandoval, he's breezing on through. He oh, Sandoval it. doesn't care. Schwartz is also just like he's that's not a friendship like where you're bringing out the best in each other. Like Schwartz, you're too much of a pussy to say <laughs> no to this person, and this person is using you to. Per- to perpetuate their own like deceit and lies. Of course, this person, this Tom Sandoval does not give a fuck about Schwartz. No. And I, I don't think really, I mean, maybe he does, but I don't think Schwartz gives a fuck about him either. That's a good point. I think they're both sort of like maybe possibly like either complete apathy or like deep rooted resentment towards each other. I think it's apathy and they're both just out for themselves. So whatever one can get out of the other is more important than like each of their life state. They are Flotsam and Jetsam. They're also just like the hyenas in Lion King. Those hyenas are smarter and cooler. Yeah, that's true. Um, Also. Schwartz is a horrible man. He's a horrible person. He's like, yeah, I'm like nervous tonight. I'm, I'm just going to go in like with positivity with Katie. But like, I don't know. If, so, if something happens, like I'm just going to like fade out to the side. I was like, you deserve to be fully cut off by this woman. If she never spoke to you again. It would be too soon. Yeah. Like, and I th- think that she will get there. I think she needs to evolve to a place where she understands that she can separate her self-worth from having a relationship with Schwartz, even if it is just a friendship, because something is like tied up within like this, like neediness to have him in her life, even as a friend is like, no, this person needs to be out of your life. Yeah. Completely. I mean, hopefully through this whole, you know, scandal, like he's, maybe going to be ousted a little more Schwartz mm-hmm. by these, this group. I think that is likely, but also who knows? Like they need to take him to task in a way. I think that Katie needs to get more activated and I think she's getting there, but he deserves, I think to be tortured <laughs> for years by her. And then Yars. as soon as this show is done, Cast to the side, and neither she nor Terry speak his name again. Um, so they all assemble. They're getting ready. They have their so it's like basically just for their friends. I thought it was going to be like this blowout block party bash, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> get the hype. Did you see the preview of this week's episode? No. Oh, okay. I want. Oh, I don't like to watch the previews because I like to be. Surprised. You like to be fully surprised. Yeah. Okay. But I was kind of like, where's where's Where the public? This? <laughs> no, it was like literally just like a plate of sandwiches. But yeah, they have like a, t- a table. It's I mean the space is like pretty. It's wood floors. It's very it's like a space. minimal. And they have their this little. Spread. I love you. You're a supportive king. It's pretty. It's literally just white walls and a floor. They have this <laughs> spread with just Greek salad sandwiches. People start walking in. They're passing out what looks like orange soda. But I know it was a cocktail. Mm-hmm. And then Lisa just. 
in from the night. She goes, there's something about her. <laughs> I wrote, I was, she's blackout. She's blackout. Oh, it's her birthday. So she's like, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's like, she's what rolling. She's rolling. <laughs> she's on. But I just love, I, I suddenly got like, I was tickled by the idea of like Lisa just like, this is Vanderpump Row. Like, it's truly like she owns this block. She's like, another one. But I just love her, like, the imagination of Dusk just kind of, like, popping in from the butt. Like, very Wee Willy Winky, like, rapping on all the windows of each. Hello! I just loved it. Once cocktail hour is afoot, Lisa's out and about, mm -hmm. haunting the corner of Robert Robertson Boulevard. There's something about uh, oh, this place. It looks pretty nice. She goes, I did. I'm just so excited for these girls. She goes, I always say, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. I was like, amen. Fair. Can't fight you on that. Dark Logan and Christina Kelly walk in. I was like, this is a deuce. This is a well, gruesome deuce. <laughs> first, James and Allie come and they try the sandwiches. They're like on their way to LAX to go to Imagine Fest. And I'm like, producers really dropped the ball on like not following James to Imagine Fest and like filming him. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? If he performed at Imagine Fest and we don't see it, did it happen? No. It's like, make it real. I love that they're jetting off to LAX. I know. And the, I was like, this is a really like a gamble. Like I was stressed and I think I had a stress airplane dream because I was so like, will they make it there? Will they won't? Like it's too much to do. Imagine like trying to travel somewhere, but first you have to stop by something about her and like try the sandwiches and film a little scene. I'd be stressed. Do you think they sit in business class? I hope so. I want, I want them to have like pods. Me too. Okay. Lisa is talking to Allie and James and she's like, so you're going there to keep an eye on him. And right. Allie's like, no, going is supportive. I was like, you're sassing Lisa. You better watch out. Mm -hmm. she, and James says, she's strong. She's strong. And she won't, <laughs> she won't let me do anything bad. And then Lisa goes, you've got to put a strong bit in his mouth. She's doing a horse talk. <laughs> she, <laughs> she goes, you're not there yet, but you're well on your way. <laughs> i love her speaking in like vague affirmations to a woman she does not know <laughs> um she is lisa takes a big old bite of a sandwich she goes they go, lisa you want to try a sandwich she goes mm. Mm. She goes, oh i love the presentation unique sexy she's wasted <laughs> this reminds me of like when i would day drink in college and then run to the student center to like the like <laughs> shitty pizza place called pandinis and just <laughs> scarf down a panini a giant pandinis chicken salad you'd have to go get a panine drunk eat and then head back to the party <laughs> at like <laughs> lavender magic hour it's giving that lisa was having a transformative moment with this sandwich oh so good girls i love oh, it. unique it's sexy. sexy it's unique it's doing all the things then Lala, KK, and Dark Ro Dark Ronan, Dark, Dark Logan. Logan. Yeah, Dark Logan walks in. He gives me the chills. The two of them together, I'm like, what can they achieve? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what darkness can they conjure? No, it's truly like a cloud descending on something about her. Then Sheena on the beat FaceTimes and reveals to Ariana that she's on the beat tonight with COVID. She goes, well, first, like... Christina strolls up to Katie and Ariana and of course she goes is Raquel coming and they're like no and then Lisa goes I'm gonna go down to Sir and see what's happening <laughs> I was like I'll tell you what's happening the I've shittiest food of all time people who are miserable asking themselves why are we spending $68 on this meal I love that she skidded off down the down half a block to sit oh it's gonna take her she's gotta get going because it's gonna take her 40 minutes to get there yeah she's gonna walk just in her little clunk clunk heel steps one foot in front of the other I'll go down to sit check it out she known FaceTime goes <laughs> I feel fine but my test says I'm positive I was like bitch you should have just gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was me last week. I was like, no one has to know. 
I hate COVID coming for Shishu. I know. Ugh, yeah, my test came out as positive. Can you believe? And then, I feel fine. My fucking test is I'm positive. I think Dark Logan and Christina Kelly, part of their friendship is probably uniting over the fact that they hate Raquel. They're fraternal I, twins. I think Logan despises Raquel because because she, well, she's with his lover. Yeah, and I think he she was like she knew something was up. <laughs> Um, and then two fucking losers stroll up to Tom Sandoval wearing a different color of the same platform sneakers. Mm-hmm. Nothing will stop this man. I hate them. Did Schwartz like dye his hair? I don't know. It looked a little red. Maybe he got, he spent too much time in the sun. Mm, I don't know. He's probably like, I wouldn't be surprised if he has like, some sort of autoimmune disorder that's like, <laughs> he's or mold. like an inflammation that's causing him to like turn different colors. He, he seems like, extremely unhealthy. I think he has like mold poisoning. He could have mold in that apartment. You would never know. I just also, I'm sorry. I know it's for the show and like whatever. It's not, it's real. But like, why did Katie even allow him in there? She's not, I mean, she's going to get there eventually. She does finally get activated, but like, I don't understand. She's still kind of holding out hope that they can have some semblance of a relationship. And like, even her being like, we're married. I'm like, you're "You're not though. I think her mom also is like probably putting, I got the sense that her mom, that old Terry puts some pressure on her to get back with him. I don't know. I think that Katie puts that. I think. No, I think, I think it's Katie too, but I think there's probably like weirdly pressure from her. Her mom is loves Tom still i'm just weirded out by like all of it sandoval is such a greasy liar Mm -hmm. he goes i hope ariana and i can get back to where we were i'm like what two people that a woman that you cheated on with and you like popped molly with for a while like all he wants to do is like party 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 yeah also like how it seems like ariana is like down to clown like how much more do you want from this woman yeah, like she has. Don't you want her to like work and have a job and like be able to have? It's no. also, I mean, it's no. a different lifestyle to own a restaurant that's open at night versus owning a restaurant that's like open during the day. I'm just no. I'm just kind of like, what do you want her to like do? Crank with you? Like what the fuck? Probably. Like what are you like looking to get into? Like smoking glass? Like you want hardcore? You're hardcore Henry. I think that he doesn't really want that. Like he is saying, saying that it. because yeah. he knows that that's he knows that that's not where she's at. So it's an easy thing to say it's gross. because he knows that she won't and can't and doesn't want to meet him there. So then it gives him fuel as a reason to like break up rather than just being like, I'm not in love with this person anymore. I'm also fucking their best friend. Mm. Tom Schwartz also is so slimy. Yeah. His conversation with Terry, I was like, even Terry giving him the time of day, I was like, you're better than this. I Terry. know, but he, he puts, he has, he, I'm telling you, it's that like hot. It's the charming. Like my mom, I remember it's like the kid in, um, high school who like kind of flirts with like the younger teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like the, the popular kid who's kind of like, hey, Mrs. you know, it's like he gives that vibe, I think. Yeah. But even the way he like puts like the way that he phrases something mm-hmm. when he's like, yeah, and we maybe had this like tentative verbal agreement. I'm like, no, you had an agreement. It's not like it's like what is the harm in saying like. I knew this was wrong. It just, it must just be like he was put up to do it by Sandoval and he can't be honest about yeah. that. So then he's trying to just diminish this agreement or like make excuses for himself. Yeah. Of course they're like, well, let's go to sir. <laughs> no, stay at saw. You're yeah, better. I off would at actually saw. rather stay at saw or just out on the street. I went with, as soon as they said, well, we're all going to head down to sir now. Cause we just have more room there. I was like, I went. At least go to Tom Tom. Why not Tom Tom? Because it's it's gotta be Sir. No, the Sir needs the press. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Schwartz enters and he goes up to Lisa and she's just on the phone with someone or pretending to be on the phone and he she she goes like. He goes hi and kisses her and he goes, "You need anything?" She 
I was like, I like that. Me too. So that's a game they're playing with each other. Mm-hmm. So then Schwartz and Terry <sighs> talk, and I was just like, this manipulative piece of shit. Like, well, first Raquel is there, waiting. Yeah, waiting Sitting, behind Ken. I was like, like an, don't even look at this man. Looking like an what are you idiot. gonna do? Fuck Ken next. And they have all the sandwiches out, ready to go. And I was like, the sandwiches look better than the food at Sir. So they are. I mean, it doesn't take much. <laughs> Literally, like a some dried dog shit on the ground looks better. Is more appetizing <laughs> than like a meal at Sir. I saw my friend Simon in the at the round table. Simon Curtis. Oh, I love. I saw him. I went. <gasps> Wow. Um, in the mix. He's in the mix. Uh, Terry, yeah, Terry and Schwartz talk. And he's like, I'm going to miss coming to Christmas this year. And she's like, we'll always love you. You'll always be family. And I was like, don't say that to this person. And she goes, but you fucked up. Yeah. And he's like, well, Katie divorced me. And while it was the right decision, like, I really, and I'm like, I don't understand this divorce. Like, I don't understand the premise of it and, like, what you guys are both doing. Remember when that was, like, the biggest scandal? I know. Remember? I remember when I saw it, when I heard, first heard the rumor that uh, Raquel and Schwartz hooked up at Coachella. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I was, was a little year. pearl clutching. But I need him to get cut. Yeah. It's time. Also, I'm like, this divorce is making no sense. And it just seems like another chapter or like saga that they have to like plod through in their relationship. It's like every step of their relationship evolution has been fraught. Mm -hmm. Like when they were together, it was fraught with like tequila Katie and like, you don't support me. Then it was like, are we going to get, are we going to get married? Like, are, was, are you going to, and then it was ring on a string. Like what the fuck? Like he's so disappointing. Then it was like, we're me. engaged. And like now we're fighting more than ever, like leading up to our wedding and everyone hates our relationship and is not rooting for us to get married. And then it's like, now we're married and treat me. <laughs> and then, and then it's like, okay, now we're going to get divorced. I was waiting. And I needed I'm like, to hear it. You guys, like, you got to stop. I you know. both need to stop this relationship. Please, I'm begging it's, you. It's straight hell. It's, I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but like, I'm like, when have you ever been truly happy with each other? Um, ugh, Raquel and Ariana sidle up next. This was the conversation that was being kind of teased. I genuinely, it was a, it was more shocking than I even imagined. I thought it was just going to be her, like, Girl, I got you. Also, really fast, Tom Sandoval is starting to look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> he kind of is looking like... Man, that's his dream all along. He should honestly do, like... You know how Michael Jackson, like, reversed his skin color and, like, started to become, like, looking more white? Tom? <laughs> no, don't say it. Ness, cut this. No. Cut this. <laughs> you can't. Um, so they start talking at the bar, and it's kind of awkward like Raquel's little you can tell she's like she goes and how are you in Sandoval I just wrote I'm literally disgusted this is gross she's probing her she's trying to get a sense of like what happens because she's immediately gonna go back to Sandoval and like they're gonna talk about it and then he's gonna re reassure Raquel that like no like I don't want to be in this relationship like I've got to find a way out and like now I can't break up with her like they're scheming this is scheming and this is wrong. And she's like, I mean, do you guys like, what's your like sexual pattern? I was like, wow. And then Ariana's like, I mean, I'm not just going to be like, whip your dick out when you come home. And I was like, Raquel was like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah. She was like, I mean, now that I'm single, I think that sex is part of a healthy relationship and starts laughing. I was like, bitch, reel it in. We Ariana also was like, said something that I was like, this is Dorothy's influence. Cause she was like, I, Raquel goes, well, I mean, do you still want to be in this relationship? Are you attracted to him? And Ariana was like, yeah, I think he's so fucking hot, but like, I don't think anyone's going to look at me and be like, oh, I like your like cellulite thighs, fat ass and like bingo arms. Didn't Dorothy always say bingo arms? Bingo arms. 
she's like uh, she's always, she's afraid of bingo arms who isn't and she goes and then Raquel goes Ariana <laughs> she goes you need to give yourself credit. I think we both suffer from not thinking of ourselves that highly, but we're both like really pretty and should really be confident in that. Why at this moment, I'm so curious is like what makes Raquel cry versus like what gives her no pause. Her se- when she's talking about herself. When she sees something mirrored back that's yeah. like her. I think she's truly like when something she can be like, oh, me me and my journey and then she can cry but if it's anything else she's like ariana goes she goes so clearly you want to stay in this relationship i was like bitch you are fucking bold and ariana goes well yeah and raquel goes okay okay and ariana goes i like, went ah! that was literally like horror movie it was this is this was a horror movie that was actually like revolting to watch this Irina goes, I think we'll talk it out and we'll be fine. I was like, bitch, you will not. And, and Raquel goes, yeah. Totally. Cut to her spending Christmas at Tom's family's house. Then we get a little comic relief by cutting to Ken and Lisa sitting together. And Ken goes, the vegetarian one is amazing. What about the sandwiches? He's like fully vegan. He's only allowed to eat vegetables now. Schwartz goes, oh, do I smell, man? Because you know when you get new shirts? No. I don't know when you buy a new piece of clothing. I think he means like sometimes they smell like plasticky if they're like delivered or something. But like you put it in the wash. Because you know when you get new shirts and you don't. He's like, ugh. And then that stylist sitting next to him is like, yeah, you smell like shit. And he's like, ugh. And then he rubs a lemon in his armpits. I was like, this is an ineffective human being. And then Miss Bob, Miss Bob Levis walks over to Katie and she goes, Katie, I just wanted to say congratulations on your sandwich shop. I was Dig. like, Rock, get the fuck out of Shady. here. Katie, I was like, that, I'm sorry, that was, for you're a bitch for that. You're a bitch for that. She goes, Congratulations on your sandwich shop. I was like, fuck Rock. You. You crossed the line. You crossed the line with that. Don't even say those words. Do not talk about it. It is a feminist business. Yes. It is not a sandwich shop. It is feminism. It is feminism. You're shitting all over it. Congrats. I actually was standing Katie in this moment, to be quite honest. I was like, Katie, I've turned over a completely new leaf. And I'm like, Music kills. You're my girl. I got you. Music kills us. Music kills. You slay me. You kill me. And she was on Watch What Happens Live last night, and it was the first time that I saw an outfit, and I was like, that's cute. It was very Maloney, but I was like, it's working, it's giving, and I was like, I support you unequivocally, She's and mother. I'm here for you to, uh, taking this turn and liberating yourself. She's on her way to being mother. Katie needs to be pushed I might ride for her. Deeply, I rat. Like, I ride for her. And in this moment, too, the thing is, with Maloney, you have to push her into trade me. (laughs) And once she goes trade me mode, once she fully gives herself over to trade me mode, there will be no going back. She'll be serving cunt 24-7 because she will just be trade me. I keep posting videos where I make myself have (laughs) lizard eyes and lower my voice with, like, a modulator. And everyone keeps commenting, trade me. You're trying to steal trade me. She goes, why are you talking to me? She goes, what are you even doing right now? Raquel's like, I just am saying like you shouldn't be rage texting Schwartz. And I was like, you're completely out of line initiating this conversation. This is the night of her shoppy opening preview and you need to back the fuck off. And why are you fighting this person's battles? Like, why do you give a shit? I'm glad that Katie's rage texting him. I'm glad that she honestly take the dogs. Yeah. You think this fucking waste of space puddle of a man is going to even have the bowls to stand up for you. He'll let that shit go. He doesn't value anything. None. Punish him. Punish him. <laughs> Treat me. I'm literally. Me. Hey, go, come here. Hey, come here. Come on, baby. Doll. I hate to break it. He does not listen to you. He does usually. He's usually my good, my good baby boy. But 
He's a good baby boy, but he does not listen to a damn thing you say in this house. In my house, he does. I love that. <laughs> Tony agreed. Um, Katie is now getting pushed to trade me mode. She goes, where were you raised? So <laughs> Which is a really good question. Sonoma. Sonoma. She goes, listen, Katie. I had a bomb ass glamping trip with my best friends and it was a vibe and I'm not going to let anything ruin that. Fuck you and your glamp. You literally your- are ruining it. You literally are fucking your best friends. It's husband, essentially. I had a bomb ass glamping trip and it was a vibe. I had a bomb ass glamping trip. <laughs> Oh, the Whitney Rose would come in and say, it was not a, a glamping, a bomb ass glamping trip. It was not. It was a ruse. This is a setup. This is a fucking. This is a fucking setup. <laughs> this is a <laughs> fucking. Her, camera pans to Whitney going, this is a setup, Katie. Do not listen to her. Salt Lake City Queens must stick together. We must, it I is re- a setup. It is a fucking setup, Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> she just walks up with a screwdriver and just plunges it into her kill. I love Look, all I know is that I have a bomb ass, ass glamping trip. I'm like, you're insane. insane. You are a deranged human. You are fucked up right now. Also, she's saying this in front of her mom. That's shocking to that me. That was, I'm, I mean, maybe I'm like a ninny or something, but like, I would, no, I'm I would like never. Fully, like, my, if I ever talked in front of my parents friends like my mom would slap me like i i wouldn't even dare to talk no, like that in front of you were raised right you do not speak to people like that in front of their parents and then you certainly do not speak to people's parents in this way well terry throws her hat in the ring there he is she goes, Raquel, can i ask something and then Raquel looks over and she goes, what terry? She goes, oh my god. And Katie goes, don't say, oh my God. That's my mother. That is my mother, you little shit. Don't say, oh my God, that's my mom. She was giving Tony an hereditary. I am your mother, you little shit. She goes, Lala goes, she goes, are you seeing this? And Lala goes, she goes, I don't know who raised you. Like what? And Katie goes, yeah, where were you raised? Where were you raised? You're a little fucking cunt. That's what you are. And I was like, you're not wrong. She's not. This is cunty behavior. That was crazy. What, Terry? Oh, my, oh God. my God. Terry was like shook. Terry was like, you came to me and said, I want to make out with Tommy. Katie still loves Tommy. Tommy still loves Katie. I was like, Terry is sundowning in this moment. And, guess like, who, and guess who comes swooping in? The Pirates old. of Penzance himself, <laughs> Mr. Um, Tom. Old Michael Jackson comes moonwalking into the moonwalking into the fucking screen. No, I'm talking about Sandoval. Yeah, Michael He's Jackson. My, he is Michael Jackson. He goes, Billy Jean is <laughs> not my love. Oh, you pretty baby with the eyes. <laughs> he goes, he does the dance way is- you make. Me feel. He, does, he kind of does like Michael Jackson dances. He on, does. At his fucking well, show. in the episode one of Vanderbilt <laughs> Rules, he said his dream was to be the next Michael Jackson. Well, it's not happening. He comes over and he goes, "What's going on?" And he, of course, who do you think he's defending? Old old rockers. rock and roll, old rock and roll Levis. Old polka dots and moonbeams. I love Terry. Goes at one point, she goes. Shut up, Raquel. That is so wrong. I was like, <laughs> make her main cast. <laughs> and Tom says something like, Lisa goes, it cuts to She goes, what is that? What is, what is the screaming? Also, Tom says in front of Katie's mom, she goes, Katie, you were fucking banging Satchel. I'm like, again, what? This is crazy. Don't you need to act like sex does not exist in front of your friend's parents. Yeah, you don't talk about banging. No, it was so and she and he's like his he's so desperate to be like coming it's it's compulsive. Well, they go rock, rock first. She goes, "Rick, I'm sorry that hurts." And leans over and like touches Katie's knee and I was like, "You're sick. Get your fucking hand off of her." And she goes, "Don't touch me." And she goes, I'm sorry, you're fucking jealous. What the fuck is that? I was like, you're in, you're 
a psychotic person. She, you need this, to be 5150. This is when I'm like, this is because I kept being like, oh, she's just dumb and like Tom. I'm like, no, she fucking sucks. She's. This is just like, there's no excuse. The only excuse for it is like, I, there is no excuse. No, it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm loving every second of no, it. No, of course. But like, that is like, that's crazy behavior. Crazy behavior. Meanwhile, fucking Tilapio Schwartz is <laughs> hiding behind like a tree. And he goes, nowhere oh. to be found. He goes, I don't know what's going on. Why mm. is everyone fighting? <laughs> and, and then, then Lisa, Ariana <laughs> goes to Lisa and starts weeping. I think psychically she knows that like some sort of something energetically is like she was not right. She was overwhelmed in this moment. I think she I think you're right. I think she fully felt like something is really toxic and bad and she and wrong and wrong and she needed mother in that moment. Mm-hmm. She needed to breath suckle on Lisa's <laughs> ripe teat. And also, was Schwartz wearing his wedding ring? It looked like he was. Wouldn't surprise me. They're weird. They're being weird about this. And then <laughs> Sandoval, that's when Sandoval moonwalks over and starts coming for Katie. And she goes, at one, I literally was like, who's speaking right now? Because I heard someone go, I'm done hearing from you. And I was like, who's talking? She goes, don't, don't even talk to me anymore. I'm, I was like, oh my God, that's Katie <laughs> talking. Her lower octave came again. She's speaking. Because she's, she's kind of crying. But she, like it was, I was like, trade me has been activated. <laughs> There's no going back. Well, then, Ariana, this made me, like, genuinely, like, broke my heart to see her crying. She's like, this year has just been horrible. I can't handle, like, having to defend Raquel against Katie. And then Lisa goes, I know, darling, your do- with, <laughs> she goes, your dog with da- your dog and your grandmother. I mean, and then she, <laughs> we, and then Ariana weeps into her bosom and she goes, where the? And I was genuinely like, okay. I think Ariana <laughs> knows on some unconscious level what's happening. Lisa definitely has, I think she has the number of what's going on. I do. At this point? I think she knows something is fucked up is happening. And she's like consoling Ariana in this moment. I don't know if she knows the specifics, but I think she knows something is not Something good. is not something right. Something is afoot with this group. Just the way everyone's acting. Like even if we didn't know about Scandaval at this point, yeah. it would still be like, everyone's acting so fucking weird. It's, it's uncanny Valley. And I think Lisa, she knows these kids like the back of her palm. Yeah. Then Christina Kelly. Maloney. Goes, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, Christina Kelly goes, she goes, Look over there, Tom. Ariana is crying right now. That's your relationship. You should be defending that. You should be focusing on that. Basically, inst- Christina knows. She's not wrong. She knew too. Yeah. Sorry. And then that's when Katie goes, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done hearing from you. And then walks like she stalks off and she goes, I'm done with you. And like hit shorts with her clutch. And he goes, what, what did I do? I didn't do anything. And then Rock laughs and Lala clocks it and is like, the way she snickered at you, like blah, blah, blah. And then Trade Me becomes fully activated. Oh, a full on tar moment. This tracking shot was positively like Kubrick. It really was. It was like Kubrick, Darren Aronofsky, who? Because she, they walk Katie, into a back corridor and then she, yeah, she goes, look at her snickering over there. And then Katie goes, <sighs> Into the shadows, out of the shadows. That was true. I, she stepped into her vibe, chills, thinking about it. She needs to harness that energy at all times. Lala, Lean into the rage. The rage will set you free. Lala goes, no, Katie, Katie, come on. I love that bad acting. Don't do it, Katie. Come on. And then Don't. she just see her walking and she goes, mm. Mm. <laughs> she goes, I need to speak to you now. Speak to me now in the alley. You will come with me and talk. You will trade me. Wait. Also, praise God that this all culminates in an al- in a parking lot back alley of Sir confrontation. I was craving this. I pray that at the reunion, what we didn't see in the trailer was that, like, thunder and lightning kind of happened in the distance, and Katie, like, her whole body and face goes pale, her eyes go black, and her mouth opens, and like a lightning bolt comes out. And then she goes, you will now feel my wrath. <laughs> it is now time to trade me. 
And then the rest of the series is following Katie as she has become trade me. And it's like everyone else is a normal person, but Katie is like X Men. She's like Storm from X Men. And they're they're like something about her and it's like Ariana getting ready and it's Katie like floating in the fucking kitchen being like trade me get a Greek salad sandwich. it's like when Darth Vader can go like that to someone and squeeze she her is throat. fully harnessing the force <laughs> everywhere gonna... Katie goes she's like this and her feet are just dragging along the floor like Ferruja Balk and the crap but it's like cool she needs to lay waste to Robert <laughs> I want her to like fully like cause <laughs> mayhem me. She's it's like at the end of the book carrie when she destroys the whole town Trade me. <laughs> Trade me. but like or katie could just like channel that she would be Let's i like want to write a comic book about katie going trade me this was she was this was full like i'm sorry stassi and kristen could never in this moment in that way that the way she turned and that tracking shot they i want to talk this i want to talk to you now and they needed to take her witches away from her because she was in like hive mentality like hive brain with them and she wasn't being able to activate and find her true power which is trade me and like now <laughs> she can stand in her power as like the only one and it worked schwartz is terrified and fuging and he goes i i, I didn't la i didn't laugh i i wasn't smirking she goes you laughing with her you're <laughs> laughing with her about me you're laughing who are you laughing and he with? goes no no I, I wasn't laughing no and, he, and then all of a sudden you hear trickling hitting the floor <laughs> he's like pissing and himself. he looks down and she goes look she goes look at you pissing your pants <laughs> I want her to take him to the alley and then he'd be like, no, I'm not laughing. And he starts to pee and then she just goes and he flies out and like hits the wall and slumps no. on the ground. She makes him walk outside and she goes, <laughs> she goes, st <laughs> she goes, stand over there. And he stands there and she goes, piss your pants. And he goes, no, I, I don't goes, want to. And she goes, you, you will piss your pants now. And then she just goes, and then he, all of a and sudden he's he goes, peeing. Ah, ah. <laughs> I need her to like fully be able to take over his yeah. body. Go over there now and piss your soil your pants. Like I want her to. It, she belongs in Hereditary, and like he is the Alex Wolf character, uh -huh. the Nat Wolf character, where he's like, <laughs> and that's just Katie Maloney controlling him. And then fucking Raquel comes outside. Oh my god! She goes, "Can I say something?" She goes, "Fuck you, Raquel." She goes, "Get the fuck get out the of fuck here. Out. We're talking right now. Go away." And Go she away. Doesn't. But then Schwartz was like. No, 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 mama, no, listen to her. And I was like, you're dead. Raquel, you're going to die. She is. I have to. Okay. And I'm, I'm. She is. A, I'm shaken to my core by her bowls. She's a little bit of, I, I'm okay. I, I'm like, always like, believe women, obviously, but she is a predator. She likes to meddle. She's a meddler. She's a meddler. And she, she really it is like there is something compulsive about her need to like wedge herself into relationships. It does seem like that. I'm yeah. sorry. And it's not even about her fucking like it's like just what she does. Her behavior is like she's very meddlesome and she's like kind of a clinger and gets in and like latches herself onto people. Well, the guy, I think it's like she got so much validation out of being like the Schwartz and Sandoval like go to like cool girl and I'm like first of all raise your standards my, my god goodness there the are Toms? millions of loser men in this town <laughs> and those are probably some of the biggest losers that you could attach yourself to in this way but she's she loves it but she goes Polka dots and moonbeams. She's at polka dots and moonbeams energy versus trade me. In fucking. <laughs> it's giving slam pig. I'm sorry. It truly is. It's giving Eiffel Tower. It's giving cream pies and cum dumps in the jacuzzi at Ariana's house while she like mourns literally everyone she's lost in this world. And Raquel just like <laughs> takes loads. It's so psychotic. Can I talk to you? Really? Oh, 
right. She goes, so I do have empathy and you were hurt by Schwartz making out with someone and that someone happened to be me. So you were more hurt by that. And I was like, Raquel, you've got to shut the fuck up. She said, no, she can't stop talking about herself. She can't, she cannot, she cannot like understand a situation unless she is inserted into it, which is a total lack of empathy. Well, she's also must be getting like, she's being encouraged by Sandoval. I'm sure she's being encouraged by the producers. Katie needs to go trade me on the producers. Of the show. <laughs> In season, <laughs> season goes, 11 is literally Katie becomes the executive producer of the show. She goes up she puts to the, on a beret at night. The producers are like going to sleep. They're like, God, they like text each other. Yeah. They're like another killer season of Vanderpump <laughs> Rules. Like, see you on Monday when filming starts. And they go, hell yeah, brother. See you tomorrow at call time. And then the wind starts blowing outside of the doors of their apartment. And they're like, oh my God, like a storm. This is crazy. And suddenly <laughs> all the doors to their apartment <laughs> fly open at yeah. once. And Katie comes in. She goes, trade me. She goes, trade me, brother. <laughs> And then all of a sudden the next day on set, none of the producers show up and it's just Katie Maloney and it becomes the Katie Maloney show. So then they go back inside and Lisa's, we remember it's her birthday. They bring out a cake that looks really good. And you hear Ariana crying and singing to her, like really trying to, (laughs) I was like, this is, (laughs) this is the most iconic birthday ever. And then they, they like all assemble and it's that like kind of gorgeous shot of like Katie Schwartz behind her rock over there smirking. And Lisa gets up and she's wasted and she goes, Oh, it's been quite a year. Her speech was like, it was moving. Interesting. (laughs) Jesus. Schwartz and Rock laughing though in the alley when he goes, she's we she's my buddy. She's just my buddy, and they both laugh. I would like I would I'm surprised that Katie didn't get physically violent because that would be the point where I would like shove him into a gas flame thing. You'd go full Oklahoma. I would full go Oklahoma's ass. I would shove him into those gas things and throw a match in there <laughs> and fucking explode I, him. If I were Katie, I would have gone after both of them. Yeah. Smash that. Ah! Uh, and then Lisa starts making this like, and everyone's, and this is, you see it. You see the vibes are real. The vibes, the vibes are really bad and poisonous in this moment because everyone is like half crying or like shaken or just smiling out of like pure awkwardness. Something is collapsing and Lisa knows it. And this is her last stand. She, she says, makes, you all care about each other. You're beautiful. You're family. And that's where we all need to support each other. I was like, Lisa. She goes, she goes, oh, I look at all of you and everything you've done. She goes, the boys, how they've struggled. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love, and then I was waiting for her to be like, but look at them now. And I was like, nope. She, no, no. They they're, just they're still struggling. <laughs> She goes, you're, you're all here for each other and you must you must give life what you take of it or something. And everyone's just like. <laughs> and then we cut to Ariana and, they're all, and then they all start clapping and we cut to Sandy and Ariana sitting in a booth together and they go. <laughs> and it like slows down. I was like, they did Ariana dirty with that slow-mo. <laughs> like, and like, can you just like. Make me look good in the final shot of the season yeah. before I'm going to be just like cry face yeah. and being like the scorned woman. I do love though that she goes, I don't give a fuck about Raquel. I have chills uh, about the finale. Yeah. I'm trying to make some finale moves so we can watch it in like a fun place. I want it to be like that meme where they're watching the sports game on the giant screen and they, you can, they made it so you can put like any clip of it. And it's like if sports bars plays housewives and it's like... <laughs> Have you seen that? No, but why don't places show like... Well, they do it with RuPaul. I know, but where's the fucking gathering? We need to... Well, I'm going to create a gathering. Okay. With... The, the gathering. The gathering. Trade me. Call, it has to be called trade me. Trade me. Piss your pants. Ow. Oh! Katie's going to go so cunt in these seasons and wait. it could just the cunt she's about to serve will breathe life into us all i yeah. feel it in my bones it's cunt with a v and the destruction of tom schwartz 
they will waste. be one for the history books. They waste him. Well, guys, get ready for... We've got a lot of scandal to cover. Oh, my God. I'm ready for... Trade me. Trade me. Wait, there's a reunion. How many parts is the reunion? Better be three. I don't know. The reunion's coming up on May 24th. Because next week is the finale. And then the week after that is the reunion. Yeah. So then it, it just better be happening. It's trade me. It's trade me time. Sorry, I can't stop saying it. No, it's the best. Um, guys, get cool. tickets to our show. Yes. we're. I think there's a coming up on a low ticket warning in New York. There is a low ticket warning for New York. So tickets are selling like hot cakes at the Bowery. The Bowery. Come down to the Lower East Side where so we you will better lay get our in there. scene. Yeah. And then we'll see you in Los Angeles at Dynasty Typewriter <laughs> on the 14th <laughs> of June. Hopefully... I guess VPR might be over by then, but we'll we'll, we'll think of something. There's always something to talk about. Let's talk about our cult heads. Yeah. I'm really excited about these cult members. These. We have Jeffrey Pradima, a tried and true. Always. Catherine Ryder. Catherine Ryder, we ride for you. Kim Lucas. George Lucas, who? Kim Lucas is the one. Heather Keltai. Love Heather Keltai. Emily. Emily in Paris. Nick Sideris. Nick always there. Hillary. Hilaria. <laughs> Rochelle Martino. Oh my God, Chriselle and G Flip. My God. Married. Married. Congrats. True love. Love. I love it. Mariah Kay. Mariah Carey. Trench Ghoul. Trench Ghoul. I Car- love Trench Ghoul. I love Trench Ghoul. Carrie Whitmer. Carrie Whitmer. Courtney Kesselman. Kesselman. And Mary. Mary. Mary Brannigan. Mary Brannigan. You guys are great Stars. supporters. Stars. We live for you. We ride for you. Ta-ta. Bye.